Ok, ok, so now we have My Hero Academia. Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 146 entitled, of course, Temporary Transfers. And actually, I thought that the battle will end in a fat gum in Kirishima versus Rapa and Shield, motherfucker, with the both of uh, them, you know, both teams. Um, Essentially being exhausted and passing out, but no, that's not the case. It didn't not go in a Sun Eater, you know, versus those three expendable dudes and, and didn't go in that particular direction. And so we kind of get more info on future fights. It is somewhat of a setup chapter and somewhat of a wrap up focus chapter because we get to see more of him, which I'm kind of glad because I do like his character. And, um, yeah. Uh, now, first off, the impact of Fat Gum's punch. Like, yo, that shit was, like, okay, fucking epic, okay? Yo, <laughs> yo. So, we're the winners, you conscious kid. And Kirishima doesn't really know where the fuck he is, he's like, who's there? It's me, fat, I'm just doing some weight watching, you know, because he doesn't, he doesn't have that much weight. Um, right now, since he's skinny and he looks good as fuck, so there you go. Come on, kid, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta get what I'm saying from the context, right? And uh, the weight loss, the translation note says that it's a reference to a weight loss slogan and a series of commercials in Japan, localized for your enjoyment. There you go. But even now, Kirishima is just focusing on protecting fat. Even though he's unconscious, he's just kind of mumbling, I'll protect fat, I have to do it. And we get a flashback. This is Fat Gum's flashback. To Kirishima when he first met him, and uh, Kirishima actually asked Sun Eater, please introduce me to Fat Gum. And it's kind of interesting because in the sports festival, <laughs> Sun Eater is always dead fucking last because he gets nervous in front of the cameras, which it, it's perfect for him. I love that. But um, Kirishima basically says, like, I want to be a hero like Crimson Riot, I want to actually protect people for real, and I have to change, I have to get stronger, so we see that Hiroshima has that drive, that willpower to better himself, time, and time, and time again, and, uh, because of that, Fakam was like, okay, uh, but now when he looks at him, it is kind of sad in a way, because he thinks to himself, even in a state like this, like, Hiroshima now is, like, fucked, so, um, you know, do you have that drive, that mentality? It's like, it's kind of sad in a way because it pushes you to destroy your own body like that. But still, it's somewhat admirable, somewhat sad in a way. But then I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Because rappers like, this ain't over. This is a pilot to the fucking death. I'm not dead yet. Uh, and Falcom's like, oh shit, this guy's way too tough. Aren't you supposed to, to be a spear? Um, did the barrier dampen the blow? Even then, and that's kind of true, like, the, the Fagum's punch went through the barrier, fucked them up, and left a giant, like, fucking, like, thing in the wall. You know, that was fucking amazing. I've lost all my protective fat, my body's done, I mean, I've used up everything, what can I do? And Rapa, we don't see his face here, but he's like, there's first eight supplies over there. Tend to the kid, he's like, no, tend to that man's wounds. Now, Fedgum obviously is like, homie, that's a motherfucking trap, like, yo. But then, because I like it because this is the perfect way to do this transition of Rapa's character. I'm sure we've seen that he's a battle maniac, but also having this more lighthearted, funnish, uh, you know, conversation with Fat Fedgum kind of m makes me want to trust him a bit, like me as the reader. He's like, yo, do I look like the type with the straps? And no, that he doesn't really do. Now, S.H.I.E.L.D. dude is like, Rapa, don't act so selfish. It's my duty to control you and your lust for battle. Obey my commands. And Rapa's like, uh, dude, like, it was a cock and shit, motherfucker. Uh, and he basically, like, just stomps on his chest. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, like, he just fucking stomps on his chest. Dude. Must have fucking hurt. Because, like... Rapa, but then again, it might, it might have to deal with a score, but like Rapa, you know, he punched, he started fucking platinum. Punches really fast, but, you know, I mean, if his score doesn't necessarily have to deal with the speed and the impact of his punches, and it's just with his limbs, him kicking someone will hurt way the fuck more than him just punching someone. Much less stomping someone's fucking chest, I'm just saying. Anyway, 
uh, you ain't got any strong left in you to throw a barrier anyway. So be quiet, would you? Then again, I'm beat up too. My bones are broken and I can't raise my arm. So, yeah. Now you see, uh, Fathom's like, so the fuck you want, homie? And he's like, a fight. I want us to kill each other. You heard them um, uh, that he, which is uh, basically like Rappa says he comes from this underground fight club, right? It's a fight club where you can use your quirk and um, you can even kill someone, I guess. And uh, even there, Rappa brain supreme from what we see, because there weren't many people who could even take a punch. And even those who could, if he took a couple, if they took a couple of punches, then they would just you know, start to beg and plead for their lives. And it's like, okay, I'm done. And he's like, fuck that, like he wants a fight, he wants to die in battle, he wants to die being beaten by someone. And you have his ultimate battle moment, that's what he, okay, he wants to, he basically he's f f fucking Ric Flair, he wants to die in that fucking ring. There you go. So he's like, heal him up, and I'll be sure to kill you. So there you go. <laughs> You two were superb, you made the challenge, especially that redhead. I've taken a personal interest in you. There we go. But regardless, so uh, Fatgum takes Kirishima and heals him up. Or at the very strike to you, because you know, he patches him up a bit. Kirishima, when I saw you calling yourself pathetic and ashamed of yourself, and Tamaki introduced you to me, I was convinced to take you in somehow. You were a man who understood his own weakness. There you go. And Rappa's like, I want another proper go at killing him, man to man. And uh, we see the pretty fucking amazing art of Kirishima's face, all covered in wounds and shit. There we go. You're not just a hero, you're a true man, acknowledged even by the enemy. So there we go. Um, now, like I said, Fagam does patch uh, Kirishima up and Fagam doesn't recover his fat. He's still a skinny fat gum, if that makes any fucking sense. Um... But there we go, but uh, anyway, what uh, Fatgum does is he asks Rappa, why the fuck are you in this like small time league, uh, you know, gang? And Rappa's like, because overhaul, he kind of fucked me up. Um, and then we see an image of overhaul using a scorpion destroying like Rappa's upper body. But of course, Rappa will then heal, because that's how overhaul scorp works. I did a video on him, it's in the... Uh, the script, it's in the fucking playlist, which is in the description down below. Uh, so he challenged him five times since he joined the gang and got his ass whooped those five times. So, there we go. Now, Fatgum asks, what does he want to do? And Rappa says that Overhaul wants to reinstate the Yakuza, whatever the hell that means. And even he doesn't know the proper details, but he said he'd be spreading something and lots of it. And he needed money. And the day he carries out his goal is right around the corner, apparently. So what this tells me is that the heroes during this operation, they did it at the exact opportune moment. Because if they would have, let's just say, held back the operation a week or two or so, that would have been good because Overhaul would have probably reached his goal by then. So, uh, there we go. Now, winding back the clock in the basement right after the invasion began, so this is really important. So noisy, wonder if there, if there being any use. I don't want to say it, but this is the end of the cleansers, isn't it? As long as the boss and I are around, the cleansers won't die. There we go. Most of our henches are with the boss. They won't follow my ideas. Hmm, interesting. Now, keep in mind, <laughs> and shout out, why not? Because this is on uh, Jai Mini's box? Like, what, how, the, how the fuck is that even pronounced? Uh, chapter's not a manga stream yet. So, the translation is, you know, okay. I'd say there are a couple of things that I'm like, what the fuck were they trying to say with this? But, um, you know, still. So, apparently, most of the henchmen will not follow, like, Overhaul's ideas. And they will stay with the actual, like, Yakuza boss that's apparently, like, not... Like, once again, I, when he'll be revealed and when we'll see what well, he's up, that's gonna be incredibly interesting. But even though I'm the one who values the boss's will the most out of any of them, hmm. But as long as we have this finished product and the serum, then us, uh, Yakuza, can stage a comeback. And this incident is gonna be the talk of the town. Um, I can already see it now. The drug feared by the heroes. 
That's the sort of thing they eat, they uh, eat up. I'm guessing he reforced the press with this. But then we see everyone's favorite insane motherfucking bitch, Himiko. And twice. So it's time you went to work, transfer temps. Leave it, leave it to us overhaul so the villain alliance joins, or the League of Villains joins the fray. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So. Are these the only two? What, what the fuck is my boy Dabi though? Cause I kinda wanna see Dabi. But we'll see. If he's gonna I mean is, is Himiko and Twice are are they the only ones there? Uh maybe. I don't know. I mean I, I mean Himiko of course she'd be there, but uh, twice and uh, swap him out for Dabi. I'm just saying. But hey, thoughts, opinions, comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great a great night! Depending on what you're doing. Please subscribe if you have not done so already. Like I share this video, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'm a fuck off right now, so. Uh...